Hey, good morning internet. So uh, yeah, lovely Saturday morning here in uh, quite chilly Shropshire. Not too bad this morning though. So uh, I've been having to think about things this week and uh, obviously I've been struggling away with the um, what's left of the wiring harness. You know, the bodged up wiring harness. There's no part of the harness that hasn't been um, taken apart. And by that I mean, you can see the entire harness is all insulation tape wrapped now, rather than any of the original covering at all. And a lot of you might say, well that's not unusual for a bike of this age, but I, I just can't follow uh, the modifications or whatever that's been made. I don't know whether it is an original loom, uh, or it's something else that's been made to fit. So I bit the bullet and sourced a replacement, which is at the moment winging its way from Germany to me. Um, it might well be a slightly different model. It might be a little bit newer than this, but looking at the loom and being as familiar as I am with this, uh, all of the connectors appear to be right. It's even got the... Um, side stand cutoff switch uh, still attached to it. You can see that the loom itself hasn't been um, butchered about too much because it's still got the, although faded, it's still got the Made in Japan stickers uh, up, the, up the middle of it on the thickest part. So it does look rather intact. So I thought, you know, I'm going to stand a better chance. There's wires coming out everywhere on this thing. So uh, that is due, it might be here today, uh, but it's due at the latest by uh, Tuesday, I think, Monday or Tuesday. So I'm not going to do anything on the wiring now until I get that replacement loom. I know it's a bit of a um, two steps forward and one step back, but I think I've, I want it to be right. So I want it to be, you know, not a mess. So we're going to get that on. We're going to get that on um, when it arrives. Uh, so what am I going to be doing today? Um, I'm going to be sorting a few of the bits out that still need painting, really. Um, like the... Um, let's have a look, shall we? Like the uh, covers on the clocks. They need doing. You know, the, the, I haven't fitted the bottoms yet, the, you know, the, the bottom covers. And ultimately, uh, undoubtedly, they're going to need painting as well. So I'll get them done today. Um, and I'm going to take this centre case out that all the wiring is sitting on. And I'll get that painted too. And just, just some more bits and bobs. I, I know it seems like I'm not uh, progressing it very much or even going backwards. But, you know... <laughs> It's just, it's just such a mess. The wiring is just such a mess that I, I just really, you know. I mean, what's that? Where's that supposed to be going there? What's this green? You know, who's put that in there? So yeah, hopefully it'll be a bit more straightforward. I know uh, there's the possibility that I'm going to have to modify it a little myself, but at least it'll be a good place to start from. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, well, you know, that's what I'll be doing when I get the the uh, new harness. Like I said, it looked in quite good condition. So uh, yeah, all good. The other things I want to be doing today are, uh, I tried that um, edging strip for the uh, seat. And I think in, it, whilst in theory it's a good idea, I just don't think it's gonna hold it hard enough, unfortunately. And like I suspected, this is a little, little bit too small, so. Probably the next size up might do it, I'm not too sure, but um, I've sort of given up on that idea. I'm thinking I might use that for the edging on the tank on the 600. I think that would be nice, because the one that I've got at the moment, uh, I don't know whether it's the heat from the engine, but it's, sort of, it's already drooping a little bit, so that's no good, I won't have that. Um, so I ordered, uh, again, a super eBay purchase. And it was down as uh, clips for, or seat trim clips. So they are a very small, I don't know how well you can see that. A little, very small clip with little teeth inside there. 
Um, I guess the idea is that it slips over the cover onto the edge of the seat frame. So uh, I've got 40 of these and I'm going to be giving that a go. So hopefully I'll get the seat finished as well. So it's all a little bit really. Pop that in there. Good. So that's that. Um, and I think that's going to be about it. So it's going to be a bit. We're going to be a bit light on content this weekend, I'm afraid. Unless the cable, uh, unless the wiring loom comes today, and then um, I can crack on with it tomorrow. But um, if not, we'll definitely be doing some big catch up next weekend. And the good news for that is I've got a whole weekend on the bike. My lovely wife is away to London for the weekend with her mate. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll have two days, two full days on the bike um, at least, and maybe even Friday as well this week. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely be catching up. I just want to get on top of it and get it done now. I mean, the stuff that we've done, I'm really pleased with. The bodywork is great, but. Uh, I, I, you know, I just want to spin it over and get that engine fired up. Um, my wonderful friend is uh, giving me a gentle shove to get the exhaust done, so uh, I really need to start thinking about that. But I want to, uh, and I might. This 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 could be something I'll do later today. I, if I put the new, uh, which I've got somewhere, the new oh yeah, the new exhaust studs in, which I've got a full set of. I might just put the um, exhaust on loosely so I can work out the angles and length of the uh, new pipe or the, how the pipe's going to go and we can measure that out and uh, get that done um, sooner rather than later. I have got to order, I've still got to order the uh, replacement exhaust tubing and an exhaust, uh, a little silencer. But, uh, you know, they'll be here early part of next week, no problem at all. So I might get that done as well. So it's going to be a bit of a bits and bobs sort of day today. Um, so I hope you're not too disappointed in that. I'm a little bit disappointed in the situation at the moment. Uh, but, you know, that this bodged up wire, I, just, I don't want the bodged up wiring. I want it to be right. So, like I say, no doubt I'm going to have to uh, modify it a little bit. But, you know, uh, hey-ho. The other thing I've ordered as well this week is a uh, bracket. The rear of the tank, where it mounts, uh, just seems to be nothing there at all. So I was fortunate enough to find, and it's only local as well, it's only in Stoke-on-Trent, um, so not too far away, um, a rear mounting bracket. Again, it's off a slightly different model, so a slightly newer model. So I'm going to have to modify that a bit to get it on, but it's good. So I can, you know, also get that painted and uh, and get that on. I think it's due to be here on Tuesday. I think I'm not sure, but you know, it might it might turn up on Monday or whatever. But it's definitely something for next week uh, because <laughs> when I stripped it down, I took the seat off and the tank's just there, not connected to anything. So it just literally held on by the fact that the seat was wedged in behind it. So yeah, I'd, I'd rather get that done properly. So that's where we're at. Um, bits and bobs weekend. I'm going to crack on and get as much done as I can, ready for the loom arriving. And, uh, you know, let's uh, let's see how far we get. So thanks very much for sticking with me, Internet. I really do appreciate it. Our subscribers have gone through the roof, which is really good news. And um, let's, let's hope we can uh, get this finished quite soon. So let's get cracking. Thank you. However, before I start on the bike, the first thing I'm going to do is fix my bloody chair.
internet. So uh, that's it for today really. I've gone as far as I can go because I've run out of uh, clear coat. So, um, you know, my bits and pieces day is uh, itchy hands, I think it must be the or well, the cold. Um, so my bits and pieces day has gone really well. Let's just show you here. So we've got the center uh, bracket that the battery sits in and a lot of the wiring from uh, this section on the uh, bike. That's painted. There's another bracket in there that the uh, starter solenoid sits in. The uh, back covers for the uh, two instruments, you know, the um, speedo and the rev counter and obviously the speed on the rev counter themselves. So yeah, they've come up all really nice, actually. It's like I say, I've just used the last of the clear coat on them, so that's, uh, that's about it. So no sign of the wiring harness yet. Um, but it's like I say, in fairness, it did say it was probably coming on uh, I think Monday or Tuesday. So uh, we'll probably get it then. But uh, yeah, so a bit of catching up work to do when it does arrive. Uh, the other part that I ordered, really surprisingly, has uh, turned up this morning. Um, this was another eBay purchase I mentioned earlier. And it's a um, fuel tank mounting bracket off a later GPZ, or later Z550. Uh, I think it says it's a 1991, I can't remember now. Um, but it's, uh, I thought I, I might still be able to make it fit. It's not gonna drop straight on, unfortunately. Because I think, and I knew it was the wrong model. You know, so it's uh, my fault. But I thought maybe it was gonna be able to bolt it somewhere for the back of the tank to sit in, but mm, I'm not too sure. I'll have a look at that. But yeah, big shout out to uh, the eBay seller. Uh, used them before Lenny Bear's bits well yeah but he sent the parts really quickly so and it was a good price so thanks very much big shout out to you guys uh, I'm sure I'll, it'll come in handy at some point if I can't make it fit on this occasion so uh, I may, maybe I'll have to get in touch with them actually and see if they've got any uh, I could do the full set of GPZ 600R indicators so if you do uh, happen to watch my video um, and you've got some please do drop me a comment in the section below or what else am I short of uh, well it's definitely GPZ 600R indicators and I'm sure there's going to be other bits for the Z550 so we'll see um, right okay so that's it for today I'll do a bit more tomorrow uh, it's like I say I'm sorry it's a bit of a tread water uh, episode really because I'm waiting on the wiring loom um, but yeah, we're still getting there, it's still, you know, still creeping forward. Um, I mean, my wife just came into the garage and went, oh yeah, it's time to look like a bike again now. So, uh, I mean, that's got to be a positive sign, eh? So yeah, good. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really helps us out. And uh, give me a big thumbs up if you're liking the videos. Drop any comments in the section below. I always respond to them. Even the, you know, all of them. I respond to all of them. And, um, you know, remember to click on the little bell icon and then you'll get a notification every time I upload new content. And I do very frequently, once if not twice a week. So, like I say, sorry it's not got further forward than we hoped. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, maybe not as far forward as we would hope. But, uh, you know, we're still, we're still going on. And this extra time is giving me more chance to, you know, work on some better um, finish on a lot of the components that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily see. But, you know, I know they're there and we all do, don't we? The other thing I've got to do is uh, I've got some more uh, high um, temperature black gloss paint coming so we're going to get the uh, calipers done as well probably get them done tomorrow because it should be here later on today along with the more um, clear coat so uh, yeah we'll uh, crack off with them tomorrow um, and we'll do a bit on the wiring if it, if it arrives in time so that's it for today thanks very much for sticking with me uh, you know I'm almost starting to look around for the next project I know I've got the 600R to do but 
you know, might want another Z550. So if anybody has got anyone, you know, maybe you've got one in the garage and you're thinking, oh, I really could do getting rid of this Z550, give me a give me an email and I'll uh, probably have that off you. So that's it for today. Thanks very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.